welcome back or welcome to my channel so today we're gonna be doing this look here i'm gonna be showing y'all how i install this blonde wig that i tried to do yesterday but that was a flop so we tried again today and it turned a little bit better so um yeah i'm gonna show y'all how to install this blonde hair and i'll also give y'all a review on it at the end so stay tuned to the end i will give my opinions on this wig and also we'll be doing this makeup look so yeah full get ready with me styling the hair and the makeup everything so if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching so i've already done my ball cap as you can see <laughs> i just went ahead and did that off camera because i already um showed how i do my ball cap method in my how i'm up my list video and also how i apply my wig so i'm not really gonna explain that i'm just gonna um really just be saying the products and y'all really just be watching because i already have a video on that so that's your problem if you haven't seen it go watch it i already drew with my eyeliner like where the lace is gonna be and like the shape of the lace um because i oh my god stop i tried to record this video yesterday and it just completely flopped so um i've already cut the lace off because i tried to do this yesterday so i just traced the shape of the lace with some eyeliner. So we're gonna try this again. Hey. What's the matter? Oh my god, okay, hold on, the dog's throwing up. All right. I don't know what that was, but okay. Yo, I'm so over this install. Like, I was getting so frustrated yesterday when I tried to film this. I was like, bro. <laughs> Thank you. I know y'all said bless you. I hope my camera doesn't die because I forgot to charge it after I stopped filming yesterday. And I had like half a battery left. But I can switch to my phone. So it's no big deal. Alright, we're just going to try and do this. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm over this. And I hate applying wigs with the lace already cut off. Okay, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this wig in sections. I usually don't do that, but the way she's acting. We need to clean our skin with alcohol first. Now we're gonna use the boho skin protect. Oh yeah, three layers of the bowl hole active. I'm just doing stuff and not even explaining.
Okay, I'm gonna take this Nairobi foam wrap and put it all over the hairline and then spray it with some got to be free spray. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and let it dry and then I'll come back. Okay, it's um, it's been a while so I'm gonna take this off because my scalp is screaming for oxygen. Okay, um, I'm gonna eat and I gotta use the bathroom. So, I'm gonna do that and I'll come back and finish all this. Okay. Okay. This is what we have going on right now. Um, I need to apply some makeup here and I need to get off all this excess glue. So I'm gonna do that first, get this glue off with some alcohol and then I'll come back. <sighs> so I finally got all the excess glue off. Now I'm gonna put some more foam wrap on the hairline and tie it back down. One more time, just because of those areas that kind of lifted when I was trying to get the glue off. Because we don't want that. Okay, this is what she's looking like right now. Um, I'm gonna apply a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna take my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation and Deep Bronze. And I got this super tiny brush because I'm working with blonde hair. And I don't want to get it on the hair. Because I hate, I hate seeing people that have blonde hair and then they have makeup all up in the hairline. Like, girl, why did you do that? So we're gonna be extra precise today. Watch me fuck this up all the way. Oh, my camera's about to die. Okay, good. I'm gonna finish putting makeup on this and then I'll start recording on my phone. Okay, I think that did something for us, you know? I usually spray lace tint on my lace 
at this point. But you know, I didn't want to do that with blonde hair because it isn't like the, the lace tint is like dye. If I got it on the hair, it would just mess it up. Okay, here we are after the makeup has been applied. So we're gonna start on the makeup now. Okay, so for makeup today, I'm actually just gonna be doing the same routine I did in my full face using only drugstore products video. So yeah, we're gonna be using all drugstore products today, except my lashes. I told y'all it was for that one video or the highlight. And then we'll curl hair style this week afterwards. This turned out so much better than yesterday. Girl, I don't know what was going on with this wig yesterday. I was over it. I thought was over it today, but you know what? Never give up. All right, so with the eyebrows, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Simmer Brown now. Now I'm taking this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer in Tan. Taking the same foundation that I used on my frontal cover girl True Blend Matte Make Foundation in Deep Bronze. Spraying the brush with my rose water. Okay, this isn't a drugstore product, but you can use regular water because that's what I did in my drugstore makeup video. Now I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. Oh no, no I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not. Concealer.
spray that with some rose water. Now we're going to sit with the Air Spun Loose Face Powder and Naturally Neutral. Gonna take this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark and the darkest shade to contour. I usually use the middle shade in this palette to dust off all the excess powder, but I'm out. So we're going to use the Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger. This isn't a drugstore product, but that's okay. This isn't a drugstore product video. That was my last video and you should go watch that. Wait, wait, wait. Need to go back to the contour palette. I didn't contour my nose or my eyelids. can dust this off. I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Duh.
we're gonna do blush. I think I'm gonna use this red eyeshadow from the Juvia's Place palette, the Festival palette. That's not a drugstore product either, sorry. Stop it, I'm blushing. Now we're gonna do highlight so I can finish up these eyes. So I'm gonna be mixing my drugstore highlighter, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time, and the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner Pencil in Baby's Got Black for my waterline. And then I like to do a little cat eye in the inner corner, you know. I like to extend my inner corner a little bit, you know. So we're going to do that. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara and then we're gonna apply my lashes. So now I'm taking my lashes in the Style Princess. If you want to purchase a pair, you can do that on my Instagram, on my business page, and that'll be in the description. $7 each. I do ship. Thank you. I don't have a website yet though, so I just take orders through DMs for now. But you can still buy some. Applying some lash glue to my lashes. <laughs> Did I mention? I won't have these same styles when I restock. I'm restocking my new styles, so these will be discontinued. So better get them while you can. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Cold Eyeliner Pencil and some brown now. Same one I used on my eyebrows. Now I'm taking this Broadway Colors Buttery Matte Lip Cream in the shade Hope. I got this at Dollar General. I don't know if they still have these though, cause I got this like a while back. Now 
now I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Clear Lip Gloss, Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss, and Sweet Glaze. Clear lip gloss is a must. Oh my god, I'm scared the fuck out of me. You need that in your makeup bag. If you don't have it, you need to level the fuck up. Hey, let's curl these lashes. Do I really need curly? Let's see. Alright, so that's it for the makeup look. We're gonna go take care of this hair now. Should I wear the middle part? Should I just wear it straight? Like, I wanna curl it. Shop you girls' lashes. Okay. <laughs> I think I should just wear it straight. I think this is cute. I really want to curl it. I think it is straight hair matches this look better, this outfit. I'll probably curl it tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I really want to curl it because I cut layers in it and uh, I'm just going to wear it straight and then I'll curl it tomorrow for Thanksgiving. And if y'all want to see how it turned out curled, you should follow my Instagram and my Snapchat and my Twitter and all my social medias in the description below. Mm. Y'all, I forgot to set my face. So I'm going to set it now with this Wet n Wild Photo Fit. <laughs> with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. So I'm gonna spray the hair with my Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Heat Protection Spray. I'm taking Chi Silk Infusion and just a little bit Bring it all over the hair. This makes your hair super straight and silky and shiny. Love this. I'm taking my Andy's hot comb to flat iron. We'll flatten out the top and define my part. I'm gonna take this wax stick for these flyaways. Now I'm taking this Babyless Pro Titanium Flat Iron.
I'm gonna take some free spray tan these flyaways, but just a little bit because I don't want the hair to be all hard. All right, now let's talk about this hair. I got this wig from Perfect Life's Wig. I've purchased from them before. Um, I got a curly unit that I've worn in another Get Ready With Me on my channel. I had on like a rainbow top. I forgot what the title was, but um, that wig was from them too. I really like that wig. This is the 613, 24 inches. Lace front wig. I think the frontal is 13 by four. And I got a large, I believe. Or did it come with, could you pick a size for your cap? If I did pick a size, I got a large, cause my head is big. As for the quality of this hair, um, it sheds way too much. It tangles up pretty bad sometimes, like it knots up. And like the quality of the hair itself, like the texture is kind of like, it's real soft right now, but like when you wash it and blow dry it, it's like, I don't know, it looks real like stringy, like doll hair, like, you know? But yeah, it does shed a lot, like a lot. Every time I wash it, blow dry it, I be seeing her combing it, sitting here, hair is coming out. Like, I feel like this wig is gonna be bald soon because it keeps shedding so much. Like, I really, I wouldn't recommend you purchase this. Um, and I don't know if it's doing that because I toned it or what, but. Uh, uh this ain't it yeah other than that i mean the hair straightens pretty good curls pretty good when i tried to comb out the curls like i had already detangled the hair like there was no tangles in the hair but when i tried to comb out the curls when i curled it in my last video on toning this hair knots like just kept knotting up everywhere like i don't recommend you purchase this wig at all it's cute like i can work with it i can deal with it but all the shedding is really my problem that is my review on this hair. But other than that, I mean, it looks pretty good. You know, Barbie vibes. But yeah, this is my outfit. Y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me this outfit ain't fine. If you do, at that point, you're just a hater. You're hating it. These earrings were from the Beast Pie store. Um, this, ne this necklace was a gift. This is from Fashion Nova. This is from Fashion Nova. Pants are from ASOS. ASOS, ASOS, however you say that. That's where these sweats are from. And my shoes, I wear my shoes off the <laughs> StockX app. Got the green to match the pants, the yellow to match the yellow, you know. Can't tell me I'm not five, you can. But um, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me, full Get Ready With Me all the way start to finish except the outfit but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and i'll see y'all in the next one bye